happening? What's happening? Yes, what's happening? Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we up to season five's finale. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Like, seriously, what I'm learning from watching this show is by the time you get to the end of a season, you are mentally exhausted. Everyone keeps telling me and warning me this is a emotional roller coaster. No, 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 no. This is an emotional cliff because there is no up and down. It's just all down up. Where the hell is the redemption at? I mean, I, you know, we five, almost six seasons in. So what? We get six seasons of torture and then two seasons of redemption? Is that how the show's going to work? I don't know, man. Anyways, let's check it out. I mean, why are you going to start me off with her face? The Lord of Light has made good on his promise, my king. His fires have melted the snows away. The way ahead is clear. We ride for Winterfell. And you will take it. Uh. The Lord has shown me Bolton banners burning. You will receive what is yours by right. And was it worth it? Damn, her chin all right? <laughs> Your Grace. Prepare to form up. Your Grace. Tell me. What? The men. Many deserted before dawn. How many? Nearly half. Why she looks so surprised? All the stealth swords with all the horses. Great. Explain this, red woman. Speak up. Can't be worse than mutiny. Damn, what's going on? Oh, shit. That's your fault, Stannis. And I thought she was the crazy one. I mean, I knew you was crazy too, down. but not that damn crazy. Your Grace, the Lady Melisandre was just seen riding out of camp. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get the men into marching formation. Winterfell. Man. He raised his hands. And they all stood up at once. Tens of thousands of them, the biggest army in the world. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna hope they don't learn how to climb the wall. But you killed a white walker. With long claw. I saw him shatter steel axes like they were glass, but long claw. Is Valyrian steel. How many Valyrian steel swords are left in the Seven Kingdoms? Not enough. Hmm. How's it feel to be friends with the most hated man in Castle Black? You were friends with me when I first came here. Uh. I wasn't winning any elections back then. Yep, very it's true. Then. Long may they sneer. I wanted to ask you something. To ask something of you. Uh. Send me, Gilly, and the baby to Old Town so I can become a maester. That's what I meant to be. Not this. Absolutely. I need you here, Sam. If you leave, who's left to give me advice I trust? Well, his head. I'd be more used to you as a maester. More used to everyone now, Maester Eamon's gone. I'll learn about history, strategy, healing, and other things, things that will help when, when they come. If Gilly stays here, then she'll die. And the baby that she named after me will die. And I'll end up dying too, trying to protect them. Which means that the last thing I'll see in this world will be the look in her eyes when I fail them. Thank you. 
You know what the Citadel will make you swear off women too. Oh, they'll bloody try. <laughs> Not now. What? Well, You've been beaten half to death. How did you? Very carefully. Sorry, you know. <laughs> I'm glad the end of the world's working out well for someone. You picked up. I'll come back. Sam has never been happier. Shit. To your return. To my return. I've said it before. Sam is going to be the greatest maester of all time. Sad to see them split up, though. Man, I just don't know what to say about Stannis. I just don't, I, you know. Mm. They straight walking. All the horses gone. And I'm wondering, why did they mutiny? Was it because of the burning? If that's the case, that's what you get, Stannis. With your dumb ass. Okay, Sansa. Tight man, hood up. My man Pod. I mean, we still need that food, though, man. Stannis. Stannis Baratheon is coming. His whole army. How do you know it's Stannis? He's carrying his flaming heart banners. From the Blackwater. I'll never forget it. I don't... I, I, I just don't know what's about to happen. She said, fuck it, we going anyway. Pod had to get his axe war. Listen, it's about to be war, man. Oh, wait a minute. Prince here. Do they not see the candles? The the well, hopefully they're just Hurry going anyway. And send out a foraging party immediately. Siege begins at sunrise. It's not going to be a siege, Your Grace. Oh shit. They coming for y'all, huh? All right, well, at least maybe this means Briag is sneaking here and gets Sansa. The hell with Stannis. I ain't mad at Stannis so the way he like, man, you know what? Fuck it. He looked horribly outnumbered there, man. So I feel like this is my time to go. It's a wrap for you, man. Bolton has women fighting for him. I don't fight for the Boltons. <laughs> I'm Brienne of Tarth. 
I was King's Guard to Renly Baratheon. I was there when he was murdered by a shadow with your face. In the name of Renly of House Baratheon, first of his name, rightful king of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I, Brienne of Tarth, sentence you to die. Do you have any last words? Don't even give him no last words. Go on, do your duty. Watch your back, Brienne, though, because I feel like something about to happen. Ugh. That's exactly what his ass get. Poetic justice. Like we're done here. Let's head back. My wife must be lonely. Uh, I mean, I can't express my disappointment in the Boltons winning. <laughs> oh, shit. My lady, I've come to escort you back to your chamber. Sansa, oh, whoop her ass! Please. And Theod, get your ass out of here. I know what Ramsay is. If I'm going to die, let it happen while there's still some of me left. You can't die. Your father was Warden of the North, and Ramsay needs you. Though I suppose he doesn't need all of you. He don't need none of you, so I'm about to toss your ass off this bridge or whatever the hell we are. And he's finished using them. So, shall we wait for him to come back, or should we begin now? Let's begin. Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Damn! I'd... Okay, <laughs> so I did have a, a little hint, a little feeling that Theon might do something. He's coming back. I didn't expect that though. <laughs> she fell so quickly. I would have thought to do it though. Shit. I gotta rewind that. But did I not see how high that um was, whatever the hell they were standing on? They done broke every bone in the ass trying to get down. Come on, man. Where is Arya with Needle? Put Needle through the back of this man's neck. Nah. Nah, man. Nah. Why does this show have scenes like this in it? Seriously. Wait a minute, who was that? Is that one of the faceless? I can see I have my work cut out for me. You two, out. You were the first person on my list, you know. For killing Sirio Pharrell, remember him? I've gotten a few of the others. The many-faced gods stole a few more from me. I'm glad he left me you. Do you know who I am? Uh -uh. I'm Arya Stark. Uh -uh. Do you know who you are? <laughs> You're no one. You're nothing. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, the crazy part is, listen, if you've been watching my channel, I'm not a fan of like ridiculous violence. Damn, did I just enjoy that. Uh, uh, uh. This show is turning me into a damn monster. A girl has taken a life. The wrong life. I mean, he would deserve the two. You were. You're not ready. That man's life was not yours to take. A girl stole from the many-faced god. Now a debt is owed. Oh shit. Only death can pay for life. Well, give it to her. What? What the hell? No! 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 You don't die! Don't die! Why are you crying? What you? What? He was my friend. He was no one. If you're... Who's this? No one at all. It, it, Just man. as a girl should have been before she took a face from the hall. The faces are for no one. You are still someone. And to someone, the faces are as good as poison. What's happening? Man. Yo, this episode is crazy so far. Yeah. I wish you a safe journey home. Thank you. I wish you all the happiness in the world. I don't believe you at all. See, see. Way too cooperative all of a sudden. Maybe I'll come visit you sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll come visit you. Yeah, Wait sure. Too long. Got a noble woman to marry back home. You want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy. Oh. <laughs> Bro, like, you know what, man? If I was broad, I probably would have just stayed. I'm serious. Try not to lose it this time. I mean... I'll never take it off again. But I'm glad you're coming home. Your mother's desperate to see you. I'm glad Tristane's coming with us. He seems like a nice boy. Do you think mother will like him? I don't she think it's going to go as smoothly as everyone's sure acting right will. now. And <laughs> you really believe that? Have you ever known your mother to like anyone aside from her children? She likes you. I'm not so sure about that. But... Listen, something I should have told you long ago. What? So, you've learned how complicated things can be. People Do not tell her this, Jamie. I'm, I don't the think you should tell her. The Martells have hated each other for years, but you've fallen in love with Tristane. My point is, we don't choose whom we love. Well, I sound like an idiot. No, you don't. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying and failing to say. I know what say. you're trying to say. No, I'm afraid you don't. She heard the rumors. I, I know. About you and Mother. No. And I'm glad. Glad that you're my father. Damn this show. Damn this show. So Hold up. She Listen. fucking poisoned her. See? 
She poisoned this Ms. man's Ms. daughter. <laughs> she gave her a kiss of death. Ms. Stella? Yo. Yo, how many minutes, how many minutes is left in this episode? It's been like 20 minutes and so much has happened. You love her, don't you? Of course, it's hopeless for the both of you. Sell sword from the fighting pits, a disgraced knight. <laughs> Neither one of you is fit consort for a queen. But we always want the wrong woman. Sure, I Great word. Torbonudo. He should not be here. No, but he is. Our queen ordered him exiled from city. Our queen would be dead if not for him. Sadreji, si eski murki inoneji. I am sorry. Sorry I'm not there to fight for our queen. The dragon headed north if we're going to find her, that's where we'll have to go. We? You're a Lannister. The queen intends to remove your family from power. And I intend to help her do it. You've been here for how many days now? I fought for her for years. Since she was little more than a child. You betrayed her. Careful now. And she exiled you twice, I believe. The second time, thanks to you. Don't blame me for your crimes, Mormont. He's right. Our queen Jorah. exiled Jorah. Terry got right. you back Jorah in there. Saved her life. Perhaps she feels differently about him now. Perhaps not. The only way we'll know is if we ask her. Fine, fine. I he knows she do. Watch her acting like that. As long as he promises not to kill me in my sleep. If I ever kill you, your eyes will be wide open. Forgive me, but why would we bring you? You would help us here in Marine, though. None of us have experienced governing a city, except for him. You want to prove your value to the Queen. Prove it right here in Marine. He's a foreign dwarf that barely speaks the language. Why would the Marinese listen to him? They wouldn't. They will listen to Greywell. I'll come with you. I'll find our queen. You are not strong enough to go anywhere. I am. He is. He's the toughest man with no balls I ever met. But you still can't go. The people believe in you. They know you speak for the queen. And Masande. Our queen trusts no one more than Masande. Certainly not me. The queen's closest confidant, the commander of the Unsullied, and a foreign dwarf with a scarred face. Good fortune. A my legend friends. is Marine what you should be calling him. And glorious. Try not to ruin her. Uh. I don't like the way Jorah came at Tyria like that right there. Y'all just go stand here. Hello, old friend. I thought we were so happy together until you abandoned me. What? I suppose there's no point asking how you found me. The birds sing in the west, the birds sing in the east, if one knows how to listen. Huh. They tell me you've already found favor with the mother of dragons. Now the heroes are off to find her, and I'm stuck here, trying to placate a city on the brink of civil war. Any advice for an old comrade? A grand old city. Choking on violence, corruption and deceit. Who could possibly have any experience managing such a massive ungainly beast? I did miss you. Oh, I know. I like Varys. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He, he was a weirdo in the beginning, but listen, I like him. 
We have to go home. Damn, is the dragon die? My people need me. City <laughs> tired. Now, who the hell is this? Don't do it. I have sinned. Damn. I see that now. How can I have been so blind for so long? She faking, right? The crone came to me. I don't want to see Cersei break heart. down like this. And by its holy light. You wish to make a confession? Once I've confessed, will I be free? Your grace will be dealt with according to her sins. I lay with a man outside the bonds of marriage, I confess. Name him. Lancel Lannister. Your cousin. No. And the king's squire. I was lonely and afraid. You had a husband. A husband of whoring every chance His to sins do not pardon your own. No. May the gods forgive me. No others? No. Speaking falsehoods before the gods is a great crime. Do you understand this? I do. There are those that say your children were not fathered by King Robert. A lie from the lips of Stannis Baratheon. He wants the throne, but his brother's children stand in his way, so he claims they are not his brothers. There is not one shred of truth to it. I deny it. Good. If your grace is given honest testimony, your trial will prove your innocence. Trial? I have confessed. To a single sin. Others you have denied. Your trial will separate the truths from the falsehoods. But if I might beg for just one drop of the mother's mercy. I haven't seen my son. I don't know how long it's been. I need to see him, please. You have taken the first step on the path back to righteousness. I will permit you to return to the Red Keep. Thank you. I will, I will. If you let Cersei out of here, she is going to kill your ass. And I'm rooting for her in this situation. Good. Am I free to go? After your atonement. My atonement. Yeah, ass whooping. Damn, come on, man. I can bathe my damn self.
เออเซอร์ซีของฮาวส์ลานิสเตอร์เขาได้ทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำการทำ To make her walk of atonement. So she got to walk through this crowd naked. Shame. 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 If Cersei gets out of this, I'm very curious to see what she does. Oh shit. Nah, man. Nah. You inside. I need to have a look at those feet. May I have the honor of presenting the newest member of the King's Guard? Ah, oh, shit. I please, Your Grace, he has taken a holy vow of silence. He has sworn that he will not speak until all his Grace's enemies are dead. And the evil has been driven from the realm. Damn! She okay, is pissed, right. and she got a super Stop. weapon. He needs you. We don't have enough men to make any Man. difference. The wildlings will make a difference. The wildlings will never fight for Stannis. If they're gonna live in the Seven Kingdoms, safe behind our wall, they ought to fight for the damn place. It's not their fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ain't got to worry about fighting for Stannis no more. Or at least Sir Dabble's got up out of there. Stunning. Damn, she looked defeated as hell. Shireen. The princess. But what you doing here? Shit. Lord Commander, it's one of the wildlings you brought back. Says he knows your uncle Benjamin. Says he's still alive. Said he knows where to find him. Man what? says he saw your uncle at Hardo on the last full moon. Could be lying. Could be. No ways to find out. Where is he? Uh...
to set up the trap. For the watch. Watch. For the watch. For the watch. <laughs> I did say it a few episodes ago. I thought John was on, um, on, I didn't think it was going to happen like that, though. Dang. Wow. Uh, oh, man. Listen. Why they had to end the episode like that, though? Why they had to end the episode like that? That episode was phenomenal. But how much can I enjoy it with my man Snow dying at the end like that? But despite that episode ending the way it did, it was definitely the best one of the season. And it might be the best one of the entire show so far. But I gotta be honest, if I was watching this on a week-to-week -week basis, I would be pissed right now. There's so many things that were unanswered in that episode from this season that I would have had to wait. Who know How long does it take for the next season to come out when you're watching this on HBO? Months? So I would have had to wait months to find out what happened with Sion. Damn. Sion. Sion and Theon. That's what, that's what I was just trying to say. So I would have had to wait months to find out what happened to Sion and Theon, right? Brian. I mean, she's got her revenge on Stannis, but now she in enemy territory. It's weird. Because the episode was great and the season was phenomenal. So I would have, but I would have been highly upset that I had to wait months to get answers to some of these questions. Anyways, man, another season down. Listen, I'm not really sure how I feel about this season yet. I know I enjoyed it. I mean, it was a couple of things this season that was a little disturbing. But uh, as a whole, I, it, it, it definitely, you know, definitely enjoyed the season. Um, I don't know, man. Game of Thrones, man. I will say this. They got to start giving me something. Like, did they give you a little bit of redemption? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Brian got Herbert Vance. Dion finally woke his ass up. You know, little little crumbs here and there. But the bottom line is, it's been five seasons of torture and devastation. When are one of these episode nine or tens going to have something for the good guy? Whoever the hell the good guy are. Because I don't even know who the good guys are anymore. We'll probably go ahead and jump right into season six and uh, just keep this train rolling, man. We almost there. We almost there. I mean, we don't put up with five seasons of torture. I I I, I got to see some of this redemption y'all talking about. I got to see some of this, uh, you know, some of this positive stuff that's going to happen. And it's going to happen eventually, right? It has to. Anyways, man, I appreciate y'all checking me out for another season. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all be on the lookout for season six. Peace.